Good morning. Happy Monday, everybody. So I want to follow up on something that Brett was talking about in his homily over the weekend, which I just find really, really insightful. Um, he was talking about the, the whole role of courage in our journey as followers of Jesus Christ uh, and contrasting that with kind of our default situation of going into some level of comfort where we're just not living fully. We're not, we're not using our gifts to the fullest. We're not, living, we're not living the fullness of life that Jesus has for each of us. We're getting near Pentecost. We're two weeks away right now. And our readings at Daily Mass are all beginning to talk about the role of the Holy Spirit and that openness to the Spirit. And part of this courage is for each of us to take time on a regular basis to have a mindset of openness, of surrender, of willingness to let the Spirit guide us. Um, we saw that so strongly in the Apostles, um, in Paul, in these readings that we've had from the Acts of the Apostles. They were not sitting back in comfort, but they were stretching and reaching out. And I find in my own life, I have to continually be alert to not settling back into a way that's too familiar um, and to make that surrender and allowing the Holy Spirit to prompt me on a, on a regular basis. And that takes a certain courage because that means that um, my schedule can't be supreme. Um, I, as you know, I tend to schedule pretty heavily in my appointment book um, and to be open to the Spirit, not just in the appointments that I have, which I certainly pray for, um, but to be open to those interruptions and those things that just come up in daily life for any of us, not just for me as a priest. Um, and to be responsive to that and, and seek that inspiration, that guidance, that prompt from the Holy Spirit for us to reach out and to do whatever He wants. This month of May is also a month where we honor Mary in a special way for her role as a disciple as well as being the mother of Jesus. And as a disciple, she was particularly open to the Spirit. Um, she set aside so much, we can see in the accounts we have in the scriptures, um, her, her own comforts, um, her own securities, and it said everything in her life was about Jesus. Everything was about furthering his cause, bringing honor to him, helping him to be everything that she knew that God needed and wanted him to be. Um, so may Mary be our example, too, as we walk through this month, um, as we prepare for Pentecost. May the Holy Spirit guide us, use us, mold us, shape us, at times break us, so that we can be everything God wants us to be. And remember, this isn't about living a hard, negative life. It's about living life to the fullness. It's about being a part of God's grand design which is highly energizing and highly satisfying. And the result of all of that is it brings great comfort, as Brett said so well in his homily. So just ponder those two words, and let's pray that God will disturb us when we give in too much to comfort instead of allowing the Holy Spirit to give us the courage to reach out and do whatever is needed this day, this moment, for God's glory. Bless you.